Good morning, professors. I am Dr. G. Vardaraju, working as an assistant professor, Department of Botany, Sri Kaliswari College, Sivagasi. In continuation to the previous lecture, in this lecture, lecture video, I am going to talk about molecular docking under the heading of uh, bioinformatics tools and application. There are uh, different fields are available in the bioinformatics. So previous video, we have discussed about uh, the biological databases and their application. Now, we will discuss about uh, molecular docking. Docking is a technique which predicts the ideal orientation of ligand in the active site of the receptor when bound to each other to form a stable complex. So once the receptor and the ligand binds together, it should form a stable complex. So then only the docking performed well. Otherwise, the docking is not uh, performed wise. So when 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 the docking is performed well, we will get the significant result. So otherwise, the result will will not be uh, significant. So when we are performing docking, we must take care of the interaction of receptor and ligand. There are two different types of docking. One is rigid docking. Another one is flexible docking. So docking is uh, a simple uh, example for docking is uh, lock and key method. So here the lock is considered as a receptor or protein and the ligand I mean key is considered as a ligand. So when the key inserted in the lock it will do some action by the action the lock will be open unlocked. So the locking and the unlocking of the lock is based on the what type of key is inserted or in enzymology uh, the enzyme substrate interaction. So when we are performing molecular docking the prediction of active site is very very important. Active site is a part where the ligand is comes and interact with the protein. So that is that the, the, uh, the region is called as active site. Active site in the active site we can see the presence of few important amino acids. So the important the amino acids are involved and it will form a structure. The structure is called as active site. So so far there is no defined structure for active site. Either it cannot the structure of uh, active site is not like a circle or a line or a triangle whatever there is no specific structure for the active site but the active site must have complementary structure to the ligand or substrate the substrate and active site must have complementary structure so then only the interaction will be possible otherwise the interaction will not possible so when you are performing molecular docking, we must take care of the structure of ligand and the structure of active site of the receptor or protein. These are very very important to perform molecular docking. Before going to discuss about a molecular docking, we will see what are all the software tools are available for molecular docking. So you can perform molecular docking in both ways, online and as well as offline. The offline tools are hex, doc. These are all uh, the old uh, uh, software. Nowadays, the people are not uh, using this software. Everyone is uh, using Autodoc. Autodoc is uh, freely available and uh, uh, it is very easy to uh, perform molecular docking. Another important thing about uh, molecular, I mean, Autodoc is uh, Autodoc provide uh, all the all kind of work related to molecular docking, uh, starting from receptor preparation, ligand preparation, energy minimization, and the removal of unnecessary electrons, removal of uh, water molecules. All this work can be performed with the help of Autodoc. So that is why most of the uh, 
people are uh, preferring autodoc to perform molecular docking and uh, the advanced another uh, the updated version of autodoc is autodoc vena and uh, now uh, the another tool is available it is uh, very simple uh, tool it combines with the autodoc only that is called as pyrex so anyone can uh, do molecular docking with the help of a pyrex it is a, the work with pyrex is very easy and very simple and that is why it is fam famously known to everyone and uh, online tools for uh, molecular docking such as batch dock docking server switch dock switch dock these are all uh, online tools we can perform molecular docking and uh, the result can be uh, sent to the registered email id so we can download the result and uh, we can analyze the docking result with the help of uh, any one famous tool for analyzing the docking result we can refer uh, discovery studio or pymod so in this slide we must know what are all the tools available in online mode and offline mode so among the different tools autodoc vena is considered as best tool and everyone is using autodoc vena for molecular docking purpose and in the case of online tool batch dock is very easy to perform molecular docking and most of the people are uh, Uh, preferring uh, batch dock batch dock can be i mean batch dock can be used for a protein protein interaction and the protein ligand interaction for uh, performing batch dock we must have our files in pdp format that's it always everything will be easy okay so for a molecular docking we must have the necessary structure to dock with each other so for uh, performing molecular docking we must retrieve the 3d structure of the uh, both the protein and the ligand to get the protein 3d structure a pdp database can be used from the pdp database we can download 3d structure of the receptor and uh, for uh, ligand there are a uh, 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 huge number of uh, databases are available to retrieve ligand structure the best source to get ligand structure is pubcom pubcom is maintained in the ncbi uh, pdp ligand database chem spider so these are the databases available to retrieve ligand structure for this we have to enter the query what type of ligand we need or name of the ligand we have to uh, type and uh, the database gives you so uh, huge number of uh, ligands so we have to screen and get our uh, record uh, structure so whenever you are uh, downloading ligand structure from the database it must be downloaded in the 2d structure in the format of sdf strung, uh, structure function domain so sdf format and uh, after downloading the ligand structure in sdf format we can convert sdf format into pdp format whatever the whatever the molecule you are having for uh, molecular docking it it must have in pdp format that is very very important and for uh, uh, file conversion we can use both online tools and uh, offline tools open paper is a best uh, molecular converter we can convert our molecule from one format to another format with the help of open table the open table tool is available in both online and offline going to perform molecular docking the ligand must be validated properly with the lipinski rule so it is comes under uh, molecule these are the uh, validation tool after the preparing 
your molecule or after uh, the modeling the structure the modeled structure must be validated properly the validation tool can be used is ramachandran plot ramachandran plot can be used with the project project stands for protein set verify 3d these are all uh, validation tool and uh, active site prediction so once uh, the molecule is validator the active site must be identified active site is otherwise called as binding site the active site prediction can be performed with uh, a different on online tool the best online tool is what if what if is an online tool used for the prediction of active site q site finder and and batch finder these are all online tools used for active site prediction so in this lecture i am going to uh, explain about two different interaction one is protein ligand interaction another one is protein protein interaction so first we will uh, discuss about uh, protein ligand interaction so for protein ligand interaction i have chosen tubulin protein as a receptor so this is the uh, 3d structure of uh, tubulin protein uh, downloaded from the pdp database the access and number of a PDF, a tubulin protein is 1jwf this is the access and number so uh, if you are interested you can directly download the structure from the database with the help of access and number 1jwf okay so we must know the structural uh, future of the tubulin protein basically the tubulin protein is formed by two different uh, subunits so since it is the tubulin protein is formed by two different uh, subunits it is generally called as heterodimer hetero means different dimer means two so it is formed by two, two different subunit that is why it is called as heterodimer and the tubulin protein has three different domains one is texal domain another one is inca domain third one is uh, gtb binding domain i have told you that uh, uh, the tubulin uh, protein is formed by two subunits the name of the first subunit is alpha tubulin and the name of the another subunit is beta tubulin so alpha tubulin and the beta tubulin join together called tubulin in the tubulin molecule the tubulin proteins are joined together it will form spindle fibers the spindle fibers are very very important to go with a uh, cell division the tubulin I mean, uh, the spindle fibers are very very important to separate the chromosomes from metaphase to the next level phase so if the tubulin if the tubulins are not formed we cannot think about the formation of uh, spindle fiber if there is no sp spindle fiber formation we cannot think about uh, the separation of chromosome from the center of the nucleus so tubulin protein is very very important role in the cell division so that is why the scientists those who are working in the uh, cancer research particularly proteomics cancer research the scientists are giving more importance to uh, tubulin protein okay so this is the methodology i have followed for uh, docking purpose first one is protein tubulin retrieval of uh, tubulin protein from the pdb database and uh, retrieval of uh, ligand from popcom popcom database from popcom database i have downloaded uh, the structure in 2d format next i have converted 2d structure into 3d structure with the help of open table after converting the ligand structure into uh, 3d structure that is pdp format the ligand is properly validated with lipinski rule so once receptor preparation and the ligand preparation is over with the help of auto dock we can perform docking procedure so this is the methodology for uh, docking for docking <coughs> receptor ligand docking we can use these uh, tools batch dock sys dock dock auto dock icom dock hex already i have told you 
and uh, once the docking was performed the docked confirmations must be validated properly the uh, docking analysis can be performed by pymol sys pdp weaver and uh, the 2d structure of uh, docking confirmation can be performed with the help of lick plot lick plot is very very important tool i have not mentioned here but i am regularly using uh, the lick plot ligand plot lick plot stands for ligand plant the ligand plant the speciality of the ligand plot is uh, it shows the molecular interaction how distantly the receptor is interact with the ligand or how much closely the receptor is interact with the ligand and also the length of the hydrogen bond is displayed along with this and another important uh, significant feature of a uh, lick uh, plot is so once we have visualized the docked confirmation in the ligand plot the same uh, structural confirmation is incorporated in the pymol so it has uh, the link with the pymol so we can you we can visualize the 2d structure of the protein ligand receptor that is visualized in lick plot and directly visualized in the pymol software so that is the speciality of lick plot tool a validation of a final confirmation the validation of final confirmation can be performed based on the docking score binding energy bond length the distance between the two atoms uh, usually the distance between the two atom is expressed in terms of uh, angstrom the docking score is very very important or it, we can uh, screen the docked confirmation based on the binding energy or bond length the bond length is very very important based on the bond length we can we can tell the significance of the molecular docking when the two molecules are interacted with a shorter bond length the docked confirmation signifies more when the two molecules are interacted with each other by long bond length it will not give significant result so tighter shorter bond length give more significant result and uh, longer uh, bond length gives minimum significance of the docked results so this uh, this slide shows how the receptor interacts with the ligand structure so here we can see uh, uh, ligand structure interact with the receptor the yellow dotted indicates hydrogen bond between ligand and uh, receptor the image is observed with the help of a pymol tool so uh, this is the top confirmation result we can you can we can visualize the top confirmation so this slide is a best example for uh, receptor protein I mean protein ligand interaction and uh, another type of uh, this is the gene sequence the sequence is converted into amino acid sequence so this is the amino acid sequence again with the help of amino acid sequence uh, phylogenetic tree was constructed uh, to check whether the sequence is closely related with uh, the similar protein or not so the phylogenetic tree shows the significant result that is it is closely related to the other uh, similar so that is why i have constructed the 3d structure of the protein the uh, with the help of uh, homology modeling homology modeling is a tool offline tool freely available we can download from the internet and install after that we can use molecular modeling so molecular modeling tool is used to, to construct or predict or uh, uh, create 3d structure of the protein so now we are seeing the 3d structure of the prna protein it is constructed by homology modeling after uh, construction of uh, uh, 3d structure 
the constructed structure must validate it properly. So these are the result, validation result. The model, the constructed model was validated with the Ramachandran plot. The Ramachandran plot shows uh, the significant result. More than 95 percentage of amino acids are present in the allowed region. And uh, this is the 2D view of uh, uh, protein validation. And this slide shows the validation of the molecule by different tools. So I have used different online tools and the offline tools for the construction of uh, uh, pRNA protein. One is iTacer, Pyre, Sysmodel, Gino3D, SparkX, Modular, and uh, yeah, these are the uh, different tools. 4 is a double 4 is a protein structure directly downloaded from the database. So these are the uh, different tools used for the uh, construction of uh, 3D structure. And each tool is properly uh, calculated its energy and the minimized energy. So among these uh, tool, I have find out the modular is a best tool because uh, compared the result is compared with the uh, other uh, tools comparatively the modular result shows the significance when compared to other uh, samples so that is why for further work i have selected the structure which is constructed by modular software the methodology used for the construction of uh, uh, molecular model is homology modeling the tool used for the construction of a 3D structure is modular. After uh, construction of a 3D structure, it is properly validated. After validation, I am going to check whether the protein is effectively uh, fight with the pathogenic protein or not. So I have performed with a uh, fungal protein. So the docking is a type of protein-protein uh, interaction. So I am I am. Uh, focusing this to show how to perform protein protein docking so previously i have explained about a protein ligand interaction now we are going to see how protein protein interaction will be so i have constructed the gene antibiotic gene encoding protein which is collected from the bacteria pseudomonas and uh, the pseudomonas always uh, fight against uh, the different uh, phytofungal pathogens. I have selected uh, the different phytofungal pathogens such as Rhizotonia solani, Sclerosin rolfi, Macrofemina fasciolina, Fusaria maxisporum. So these are all the different uh, fungal phytopathogens. My purpose is to control the plant diseases. So these are the uh, uh, fungus usually uh, develop the uh, different diseases diseases in the plants so the antibiotic gene prna is having ability to control the growth of these fungal pathogens so that is why i have uh, chosen the protein responsible for the pathogenicity in the particular protein particular uh, fungus from the literature in the case of Rhizoctonia solani, agglutinin protein is responsible for pathogenicity. Sclerosin rarfi, reftin, lectin, macrofamina fasciolina, thamatin, fissari maxis from G protein beta subunit. These are all uh, the protein uh, structure downloaded from the database. And this is the two secondary structure of the protein. And uh, uh, this uh, slide shows. Uh, the result how I have constructed the protein structure with, with the help of different tools and uh, how the two how the structure was validated using uh, different tools. So for validation I have used PROSA verify 3D error. So among the different tools such as modeling tool and the validation tool the modeler gives significant results.
so already i have shown you so you uh, the structure of uh, prna gene encoding so these are the uh, fungal pathogen proteins these proteins are downloaded from the database the 3d structure where the protein protein interaction is seen so here the blue color indicates the hydrogen bond the sky the blue color light blue color is indicates uh, the uh, bonded interaction with a uh, hydrogen bond length this is the lick plot view there in the case of lick plot view we can see clearly visualize the interaction that is bonded interaction the here the hydrogen bond is indicated with a green color green color line and also we can see bond or the amino acids are directly involved in the molecular docking so this is the lick plot view lick plot is a offline tool we can register to get lick plot and it is not free for all it is free only for academic purpose when you are registering registering uh, lick plot for your purpose you must give your academic email id they will send you the key a password you can download the software lick plot and uh, with the help of the password you can open the uh, uh, tool so it is very very important tool to visualize the molecular docking this is another uh, uh, protein protein interaction observed in the another fungi sclerosium rolfsi so this is the speciality of lick plot in the lick plot view we can see hydrogen bond bond length and the amino acid along with the amino acid what are all the atoms involved in the interaction so this many information can be retrieved from lick plot view so that is why i am frequently using lick plot view for analyzing the docked information this is the lick plot view performed between prna protein and the fasciolina macrophomina fasciolina this is another uh, protein protein interaction performed with uh, prna protein and the fissarium axis forum pathogenic protein so this is the results of uh, uh, various uh, uh, docking confirmation so uh, by by validating the result we can screen the best docking by hydrogen bond interaction so hydrogen the length of the hydrogen bond and uh, uh, the binding energy are two most important parameter to screen the docked confirmation so with this i conclude uh, my lecture on molecular docking so molecular docking is a very simple method once you know the biochemistry behind the protein and the ligand it is very very easy and uh, most of the softwares to perform molecular docking is uh, freely available if there is no time to perform molecular docking offline we can use online tool also so once again i am uh, requesting all to do molecular docking for your uh, research work because molecular docking result gives more information about your uh, further research whether we can perf whether we can continue with the research or not so a lot of uh, a screening mechanism can be performed using molecular docking so that is why the molecular docking has uh, most important in the uh, bioinformatics when you uh, perform a molecular docking next to molecular docking is uh, uh, molecular dynamics molecular dynamics also uh, plays an important role in the biological research so nowadays uh, we are uploading the paper 
with molecular docking, the editors or the reviewer are simply rejecting the paper only for molecular docking. When they are expecting molecular dynamics, uh, dynamics work also. So now the people are expecting more, more data, more information about our uh, research. So whatever the work you are performing in your molecular biology laboratory or uh, genetic engineering laboratory or proteomics laboratory or uh, biochemistry lab, so uh, we can get data, we can get information uh, from that. After getting information with the help of bioinformatics tool, easily we can screen whether we can continue with the further or not with the help of different uh, techniques. So one among those techniques is molecular docking. So next to molecular docking is molecular dynamics. Again there are uh, different tools uh, freely available to perform molecular docking. So uh, with this uh, I am concluding my lecture. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Thank you.